hear Fallout Safe Santa on PPS. Sugar, we're going down. Whoa! This is what it looks like when a Christmas special self-destructs. Christmas at Ground Zero, mind you. Yes, we get it. It's an explosion. He attacks us with nuclear weapons. Danger will come not just from blast, or heat, or nearby radiation effect. But from Nuke when he's in heat. But also from fallout. Snowing from West England. Fallout, which may occur miles and miles away from the blast. You need to know about fallout. What it is. What? How to detect it. How to have sex with it. And what to do to protect yourself against it. Everybody needs to know. Yes, this does mean you. Just you, no one else. Watch and listen. One day, these facts may save your life. So don't forget, even if this doesn't happen to what you for another 17 fallout, years. Anyhow, just bits of radio act fall out of the mushroom cloud of the nuclear explosion and settle on the ground. It's a game franchise. These bits of matter can be dangerous. Yes, fallout looks like this. Pop-tart sprinkles. to some radiation every day from cosmic rays or other natural sources of radiation. It's not that serious. These you can put your arms down. are too small to hurt you. Yay! But when a wartime nuclear explosion occurs, a serious fallout follows. Followed by divorce and child custody. Tons of atomized earth, building materials, rocks, and gases may be thrown into the air. That explosion looks like the, the tree of life. Looks more like broccoli to sometimes me. Sometimes moves as high as 100,000 feet. Nearly 20 miles up. Some of the radioactive particles spill out near the explosion site. Others may be carried for 10, 50, 100 miles or more. See, it's so serious I but forgot how, how to count. You know if there is fallout? You can't hear, smell, taste, or see the radiation. But you yourself can detect the fallout particles that produce it. From the question mark window. The easiest time to do this without special instruments is when the fallout is settling through the air. This starts any time from about one half hour to several hours after the explosion, depending on how far away you are. And it continues to fall for an hour or longer. Usually, you can see the fallout. So if there has been an explosion of a nuclear weapon Don't within just a few hundred miles of you, run! Run! Run, you fool! Run! Of dust ah, in the, the radiation of burn! Fire. Why didn't I run from it? After an explosion in daylight, watch any unusual accumulation of dust. Fallout can appear on elevator doors? At night, put a white or light-colored plate outside. Fallout also produces random clocks. If dust is accumulated on the plate, treat it as fallout. But I don't know how to treat fallout. The particles in that fallout behave like miniature X-ray machines. Only more sending deadly. Sending out radiation in all directions. If there are many particles, and if you are exposed to them long enough, you will be hurt. So don't make me catch you exposing yourself to fallout, or else... Others will be watching for that fallout, of course. Like Dexter's lab. Experts will estimate the probable path and speed of approaching fallout, and try to keep you posted. But it may come before you hear any details by radio or otherwise. You must take precautions, whether you hear their reports or not. Unlike this man who isn't saying a word. Well, be if fair, he's got no eyes, he can't read it. You'll hear reports especially on the Conrad frequencies 640 or 1240 on your AM dial. As soon as it is safe for specially protected crews to get out into the open, these highly trained civil defense radiation detection teams are mannequins. will make a thorough check of radiation levels and characteristics. Don't worry, citizens. Our Those coffee mugs will, will save you. you by radio as fast as they come into civil defense headquarters in your area. Fallout also produces giants. Information from the radiation monitoring teams 
will be combined and analyzed by experts manning a central radiation control point. But really, they think it's playtime on the map. experts, who know just how fast harmful radiation reduces in force, can predict when it will be safe for people to come out of shelters and resume normal tasks. <coughs> Three million years. We have warned that you may have to act before you get any detailed reports. Just what can you do what, if what, 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 comes what, your what, what, way? Find the best shelter you can. The more solid substance you can put between yourself and the fallout, the better. <laughs> but I can show you my solid substance. Windows closed will give considerable protection. Why did we sell all our stuff? In a house, it's best to get on the floor, away from doors and windows. Or if you can, find a location with additional walls in the center of the building. A basement is even better if the house has one. Too bad most houses don't. Large buildings, such as apartment or office buildings... Or the Hill Valley High protection. School. The thick, heavy masonry of their walls and floors makes it hard for radiation to get through. That's what it'll look like after the nuclear blast. Inside rooms or corridors on the lower floors are safest. The basement of any house or building will become a good improvised shelter if you block the windows with sandbags and place other sandbags on the floor above the shelter area. If you don't have sandbags, you're screwed. Solid layers of books, magazines or newspapers or even a series of file cabinets standing close to each other can cut the radiation danger. Ah, now we we'll have nothing to read country, as we radiate. There are storm cellars or outside vegetable storage cellars. They may be used as shelters from fallout. Just make sure you don't invite if Winnie the Pooh or else you'll be trapped in there forever. Or your basement or any other shelter, stock it with food and supplies. To equip and supply your shelter area, you need some of the same things you might take on a vacation camping trip. Condoms! First, sleeping equipment to fit your shelter area. Folding cots. Comes with a free baby. Or sleeping bags and blankets. Then, food and water. There should be at least a two-week supply. After that, cannibalism. Want plenty of fruit juices and lots of your family's favorite canned foods. All food came in cans back the in those days. The drinking water supply should be rotated often to be sure it's fresh. And don't forget such basic needs as sugar, salt, pepper, and other seasoning that your family ordinarily uses. The fallout will make them into the Powerpuff Girls. Now, some equipment. A radio is very important. Even though you can't get good reception from underground. With spare batteries. A transistorized radio is best as the batteries last longer. As opposed to plugging it in the Next, wall. You need light in the form of flashlights and a battery operated lantern. Then a good first aid kit. Battery operated of course. Now plates, cups, silverware. A can opener and a bottle opener are important. If you're a sissy. Add to these things enough closed containers to take care of garbage and human waste. Unfortunately, you'll have to put up with smelling Especially it all the time you're down there. children in the shelter. Include some books and magazines. But we used to them as sandbags. Maybe one or two small, simple games. Like Mr. Dress Up. The best protection of all is the special shelter built according to specifications of your local civil defense organization. This has an air filter to allow ventilation but keep dust out, and it has at least three feet of earth over it. It's the bury yourself coffin. It would be a good idea to go right now to your local civil defense office to secure plans for the type of shelter you want. He'll probably laugh then in your face and think that you're crazy. Construction. Plans are simple, using standard materials. So maybe you can do the job yourself. But you'll never get it done by but the time Doomsday gets here. Talk won't help very much. If you are caught way out on the open road... Well, no wonder your car's slower happens, than a snail. Keep driving until you see a building, which may be a house or barn, church or school... Shopping mall or port Drive as close to the building as you can. Then, get yourself and your family out of the car and take cover in the building. If you live on a farm and have sufficient warning... Put all your cows on a conveyor belt. And give them enough food and water to last several days. Little do they know it's the slaughterhouse. And if you can, 
cover any piles of hay or harvested crops that may be outside. Otherwise, mutated corn will eat you. If the explosion has been some miles away, you will have time to fill tubs and other containers with water before fallout arrives. Make it some tea. All locations where outside dust does not penetrate will be safe storage points for water. Whatever kind of shelter you find, settle down and make the best of it. If there are others with you, help them by being as calm as you can. You can go out for very brief periods if you are well covered and keep the dust off your skin. He is looking at you, kid. Wear heavy boots or shoes and pants tucked in or tied around the bottom to keep dust out. If any dust gets on you, brush it off promptly. And when you have a chance, wash it off. Thank God they put the camera that on the right half of can me. burn your skin. But what happens if you do get exposed to a great deal of fallout? You'll become a Dalek. Food or water has been contaminated by the dust. Internal damage may occur. When dust has been left on skin, there will be skin burns. It burns! When you have been near dust too long, there may be radiation sickness. How come that gets the bigger billing? Exposure can even cause death. If you have had considerable exposure, you will vomit and grow weak. But there's nothing a little but pepto after a few hours, won't cure. This sensation will pass, and by the next day, you may have had the last of it. Cause you'll be dead. Even if you have been exposed to excessive fallout. You may eat and drink just as you normally would, but don't force yourself. I'm looking at you, fatso. Whether you have had these symptoms or not, if civil defense radio announcements have ah, said that radiation been by has been giant high in your section, handle. keep an eye on your condition for the next few days. Watch especially for these developments in the two weeks following exposure. Invisibility. Return of nausea. Sore throat. Weird mouth. Bruise spots developing without any known reason. Hey, he's becoming a Dalmatian. Loss of hair. Your skin peeling like an orange. These conditions, or nosebleed, or diarrhea. Diarrhea is like a nuke raging inside you. Or to the nearest first aid station set up under civil defense plans. Which don't exist. Unless civil defense teams have warned that your area is still dangerously radioactive. You can get out and work to help yourself and help others. Or commit suicide. Although fallout can be deadly, your chances of avoiding damage from it are much better if you follow the directions we have given you. And not starting a nuclear war to begin During with. During an alert, keep your portable radio tuned to the Conrad radio frequencies. 640 and 1240 on the AM dial. Those More radio stations are all about fallout 24-7, and they always will right be, now, and if not, today, you can kick our asses. There is an alert. Not. Take time to learn the civil defense five steps to safety. <laughs> well, I would, learn but I can't read it. And what they mean. Learn your community plan for emergency action. Learn protection from radioactive fallout. Very hard to do. Learn first aid and home emergency preparedness steps. Because that'll help. And Learn how to use Connell Rad, 640 or 1240 on the AM dial, for official directions. It's totally rad, dude. This message brought to you by Corella DeVille. Would be if nuclear war happens.